So here we are. Oh my god, this is the beautiful, beautiful Rainbow Channel 19. So today I'm filming on my new phone, so I hope the image will be good. <laughs> um, exciting things happening today, because first of all I want to tell you, I'm going to go on a trip very soon and it's going to be very exciting. We're going to see, I think, a lot of eye candy, believe me. So, you know, something exciting coming up at least, after we've been locked up forever. Um, and other exciting news are Bagista has opened a new store, a new physical store. And I've been waiting for, I think, over a year now for that to happen. Um, and so we're going to make our way there. And actually, they have a beautiful bag, that one. And you guys know I'm hunting for a white bag at the moment because, you know, my wedding is coming up. I've actually got two weddings coming up. Um, one small one and one bigger one once the world's back, you know, to normal. <laughs> and people from all over the world can hopefully come and visit me. Um, and so yeah, I'm looking for white bags and love that one. We're gonna look at that one. Uh, also, Chanel 22P is out. So we're gonna have a look at the Chanel Spring Summer Act 1 collection. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So guys, actually, that is Designer Exchange right there. You know, one of my favorites as well. And literally just around the corner, let me show you so that you know where you can find Bagista. Just around the corner, there we go. Here it is, and basically this is the street leading up to Harrods. Oh, Bergista, I can't believe they finally have a physical store again. And I think this is a way better location um, than where they were before. So, yes, I am excited. Oh my god, look at this cherry speedy. I know Jessie from Lashes Style, she has just sold her little um, cherry speedy. I mean, I sold a lot of my, sorry, loud car. <laughs> I sold a lot of my Louis Vuitton. I sold a lot of my Louis Vuitton monogram pieces as well, right? Look at these amazing trunks. Wow. Okay, guys, so this is gonna be exciting. There we have a little Coco handle. Ooh, look at this pretty bag. Okay, let's go in. Okay guys, so we are at Bagista and I'm really sorry for the lights flickering. I mean, you guys know the issue. I tried all the different frequencies. Um, however, I think we just have to deal with it. They have so many beauties. Oh my God, I cannot wait. So here, look at this. Oh, this is like an iridescent leather. I don't even know what color it is. It's like a pearly pink greenish color. I hope it comes across properly. Um, okay, guys, so many treasures. I am so excited. Um, oh, look at this one. What is this? This is the Chanel Mini Coco Handle from the last collection where they actually recalled all the classic flaps because they had issues with the hardware. I really wonder why, you know, they still let the Coco Handles be sold because um, it's the exact same hardware that we would have seen on the classic flaps. It is pretty, right? It is extremely pretty. I mean, let's see what kind of bags we're gonna try on later. Look at this pretty Gabrielle bag. Oh, this is really, I think this is only 2,500 pounds as well, which is an amazing deal for a Gabrielle, right? So guys, okay, let's have a look. Maybe if I get closer to the bag, the light is not too bad. This is Stingray, guys. I love it. Look at this one. Okay, I think the vertical boy bags, rest in peace, <laughs> I think we don't really see them anymore. Um, look at this one as well. So many iridescent bags and so many metallic bags. I mean, I'm in heaven. You guys know I have a weak spot for everything metallic. This actually has nice um, diversity in terms of colors as well. I'm pretty happy that mine came with a really nice you know, color combination, because some of them were only like pink, and then of course you don't really see the effect properly. Oh, wow, mud red on like a caviar red bag. I love the bags with the mud hardware. Okay guys, so this is the reason why we came. I can't wait to try this one on, and this is just a sneak peek. This is the reason why we came. I, what do we think? Please give me your opinion. I mean, I'm looking for a wedding bag. 
I don't know if I actually want to go with a classic flap and this one is like entirely brand new the colors are just gorgeous aren't they and it's like the the rich gold hardware the brush gold hardware oh guys help me please with this one we're gonna look at that in a second I have a nano speedy because I want to sell mine let's see for how much they sell it one for okay jumbos jumbos that's amazing so did you guys spot anything here let me know and oh look at the store it's absolutely amazing what do we have here lady dior chanel 19 i really want to see the new um rainbow chanel 19 from chanel 22p that would be amazing okay then we have a deville and some black beauties so I this should be the 227 size yes and I still want to have this exact bag just with the antique aged brushed gold hardware of course you know a dream 226 and 226 I love the 227 size um, oh my um, my sister-in-law actually wants this bag so maybe I should tell it to <laughs> Grace if you see this they have one um, Okay, beautiful red Chanel 19. Oh, Bottega pouch. Some monogram pieces, guys, let me know. Are you still in love with your monogram pieces? I feel like I've completely fallen out of love with them, unfortunately. So, oh, I only have two pieces left now, my never full, right there. <laughs> because guys I feel like this is the workhorse right and whenever I travel I really need this like I just love it and then my heart's because it's so special and it has the python handle right oh, look at this little one beautiful chevron that is incredible okay I noticed that the light flickering is a little bit better down here in the shop oh really sorry I hope it's not too annoying guys try my best tried every frequency <laughs> I could think of but it didn't really work oh look at this beautiful oh I love this sofa beautiful MS blanket okay and what else do we have here blue is not so my color okay guys I think should we try on the beautiful classic flap okay guys here it is I mean to be honest it looks a little bit more interesting um, when I saw it on the pictures, I think, because like obviously it's a classic flap, so you have to consider that you're paying classic flap prices. Um, and this is 6.6, six, six, I believe, so it's just like the retail price for now, until <laughs> the next price increase. Um, it's not as shiny and pearlescent in real life as I would hope it to be. I mean, you know, it has a beautiful shine. And guys, just a little side note, a funny joke. So my good friends here on YouTube, Super Day Cup and Jessie from Jessie Style, they actually said it looks a little bit like a makeup tissue after you removed your makeup. <laughs> I mean, let me know what you think. I think it is stunning. But now that they've said that, I kind of saw it as well and I cannot unsee it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. This is really a difficult decision. Um, so guys, I mean, let's just sit down here and I can show you how it looks like from the inside. So it is a double flap. Ooh, there's some, there's a scratch already, unfortunately, and a little mark. Um, I don't actually know, it, it's a pretty new bag. I think it comes with the, with the metal plague um, plug, yeah. So it's beautiful. Can you see this? There, yeah, the little sparkles. I hope you can actually see it on screen. So it is a beautiful, gorgeous bag, but is it a wedding bag? I am not quite sure. This is really a difficult decision. I really want to have a special bag. And my dress is kind of champagne, so it's not entirely white. You know, that's why I thought it's gonna go well with it. I really need your help, guys. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this one. Hmm. Also, you guys know I'm in the Gabrielle fever. <laughs> I mean, I have my medium size Gabrielle, which is basically this size, and I love her to bits. However, now that I'm selling my Nano Speedy, I feel like I need a little bag that I can use for like, you know, city trips and also more kind of adventure type holidays. 
little crossbody bark, you know, that's a little bit more understated, but it still holds a lot, etc. So I'm actually still thinking of getting like a small Gabrielle, just like in black. If they would have like a really nice like dark purple, I would also go for that probably. Um, but look at this one. That's quite cool, right? And this is my preferred way of how I like to wear the Gabrielle bag. Um, yeah, the v, v style, I love it. What can I tell you guys? I love it. And this is such a good price. It's actually quite a beautiful bag. Can you see this? It's slightly iridescent as well. There, we can see it. Slightly iridescent. And you know, it looks a little bit beaten up, but it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about these bags. And this is actual caviar leather. So you don't have to worry about this at all. And I love it. Let me know if you have any Gabrielle bags in your collection. I love them. Do you love them? And this is only £2,500. That's an amazing price, right? Okay guys, so here we have a small Gabrielle. Hmm, what do we think? So this is a great size. I love it. I think I, it's done. It's a done deal. I will get a small Gabrielle for sure. Um, I once had a tweet one. I have to warn you a little bit about tweet because it likes to pill. You know, whenever it rubs against your body, the back of the bag, will, you will see some pilling, unfortunately. That's why I actually sold mine. If I still have a picture of my bag, I'm going to put it up here so that you know which one I had. Um, so, yeah. I love this one. Let's ooh, have a closer look. I mean, tweed bags from Chanel are beautiful, no question. But, the big but, <laughs> they like to pill. So let's see. I mean, this one is quite, you know, the wool they use for this one, it looks like it's naturally pilling anyway. Um, but over time, you probably see a little bit more of the pilling. The lighting here is really not the best. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is how the small one looks like crossbody and I love it. I just am a sucker for Gabrielle bags. I know people either love them or hate them. I love them. I mean, I can only recommend it, but yeah. It is so comfortable, you know, nobody can grab your bag. Nobody can grab it and run if you wear it like a V, you know, with this V style. Um, in this wee style way. I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I get this one in just like the plain black? Um, for like traveling and city trips. I'm loving this more Gabrielle. <laughs> okay guys, and while we're here, oh, I definitely have to show you this one, right? This was one of the unicorns from one of the last collections. I'm still so, so sad that they didn't bring out the classic flaps because like they were gorgeous with this hardware, but you know, the hardware had some issues. That's why they kind of like recalled all the bags <laughs> so I would be careful with even getting the cocoa handle to be honest because I mean there was something wrong with this one so you know we really wonder why Chanel didn't recall these babies but they did recall the classic flaps and guys also what is really interesting with the new Chanel cocoa handle bags you know because I have one as well from a couple collections back my champagne cocoa handle um, this stitch here at the back uh, it's entirely new. So the construction of the bag has changed a little bit. I wonder why. I wonder, you know, if they had some issues with the flap in the past. I hope not, because my <laughs> Gabrielle is an old style Gabrielle. Ah, oh, sorry, an old style Coco Handle bag. So, you know, you really wonder why they changed the construction of the bag. As you can see, the flap is entirely detached now from the main body of the bag. And in the past, it was like basically one piece of leather. That went all around okay guys they came in like a purplish pinkish version as well this is the blue oh, i love the hardware i'm so sad so sad that the classic flaps were never brought out comes with a little strap as well absolutely gorgeous and guys a unicorn in the true word of a unicorn this is a literal unicorn <laughs> so i i have mine i'm very happy that my wonderful sa in selfridges um Roshio, she got me one. They were so hard to find and this one is in amazing condition guys. It is in absolute amazing condition um, and they are hard to find and on fashion file you know if they are in like new condition they are so expensive they get sold for like 6,600 US dollar so it's basically double what the retail price was. Um, you can find some cheaper but then most of the time you know they already have a lot of wear on them and believe me you don't want to touch these bags with hand sanitizer and I think a lot of people did and that leaves like entirely mud areas on the leather so I did actually a warning video when I got mine to tell everyone not to touch these bags if you've recently put on hand sanitizer 
you know, it was bad timing for these bags to come out. Actually, we haven't seen any Birkins or Kellys yet, right? So I think I'm gonna ask, maybe they don't put them on display because it's like a safety issue. Um, so I wanted to show you this one as well because I think it's worth showing. Look at this. And the sticker is still on. So, you know, these bags are like store fresh, basically. What do we think about this style? It is, you can wear it like a clutch, I think. It also comes with a strap. Um, I would probably just wear this as a clutch. What do we think? <laughs> so I love it. I actually like the champagne hardware on this one. Usually I go for the yellow gold. Huh, pretty color, huh? Guys, I have to say I love it. Look, it sits at quite a nice height. Um, it's almost like a flat bag. So, I mean, it is a flat bag, but it's more like a clutch. <laughs> So guys, I love this one. Mm, what do we think? That's quite awesome, right? Love the color, I mean, it's perfect for spring, I guess. Easy access, let's see how it looks like from the inside, actually. So, we got two compartments. Let me sit down. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. Um, so, this is the inside of the bag. Interesting. I mean, before you decide to go for like a walk or so, I would actually tell you this is probably a better choice, you know, because it can hold a little more. Huh, what do we think? And guys, wait, let me show you this. My little pink kitty and this bag. And, oh, it goes so well with my pink diamond. And here we are again. Help me, please, with a decision. Because um, I, I don't know. Do I love it? I love it. I love it. But do I love it enough? Is this gonna be my wedding bag? Or will I choose another one? Hmm. So I just asked them if they have any Birkins or Kellys. Um, so they don't have them on display, but I think they have them downstairs. So let's wait and see what kind of beauties they are showing us. Okay guys, so look what they just brought up for us. This is a gold Birkin, gold hardware, and it is a size 40. <laughs> It is huge. It's bigger, as you can see, than the Neverfull MM. Okay, I would say. I've actually never tried on a 40. This is like a travel bag. I mean, come on. <laughs> Maybe it's for men. Um, or you can literally use it as like a weekender bag. Oh, it's heavy. I've only tried on Birkin 35s and 30s and 25s. <laughs> so this is my first time ever seeing and feeling how heavy actually the 40 is. I mean, I'm always complaining already about the 35. <laughs> Especially like when it's empty, it's heavy. And when you pack it up, it feels like you're carrying like bricks with you. Um, so guys, hmm. Yeah, this is only a weekender bag, I think. Wow, what a monstrosity. <laughs> okay guys, I think that was everything for Bagista. So they are back, they are back with a boom, <laughs> with a bang. Um, I love the shop, I think it looks amazing. Let's go and look at some Chanel eye candy. That was worth it. Um, such a beautiful, beautiful store. Um, and it, it's amazing for me because like literally Designer Exchange and Bagista are right next to each other. So whenever we go back in the future, you know, I can just do both shops in one go. But today we have another task. Today we are going to look now at the new Chanel 22 P pieces. And I don't know what we see. I hope we're going to see the rainbow Chanel 19. Um, but yeah, let's go to Harrods. Okay guys, so just on my way to Chanel, I stopped by Bulgari again and look at this one so you said it's from 2018 actually yeah i've definitely seen the black version it's so stunning this red velvet is really beautiful as well and so i guess it's what are the stones do we know malachites and mm -hmm. interesting beautiful yeah guys are you, do you have any new models Mm -hmm. One of the new ones was the Ellipse uh, bag. Mm -hmm. And the little vanity and case, right? And your jewelry box. Um, do they come? I think on the website I saw that they come in like a micro version as well. Yes, a micro version. I only saw it oh. in picture. I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting to see it in person. Okay. It's so <laughs> but okay. only the size. And yeah. A new bucket bag also. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely it's, stunning. Um, very, very pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh yeah, this is a carrying ellipse. Ooh, absolutely beautiful, yeah. 
stunning. And I, I've got this one in gold. These are new colors, right? Yes. That's really nice. So it's still nice part well. of the spring summer 22. Yeah. But we Beautiful. have the film. Of course, I have to stop at Bulgari, right? I mean, our favorite brand here. We will do an entirely like a featured Bulgari video again as well. Um, Gucci, I think there's nothing really new here. Um, but yeah, I think in February I'm gonna film with Dina again. I can't wait to see her again and catch up and see what's new. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so here we are. Oh my god, this is the beautiful, beautiful Rainbow Chanel 19. It would be great to of course try that on. Um, but yeah, let's see what we find. So we're just waiting now to look at the beautiful Rainbow bag and look at this one. Wow, what is this? Is it a lot of little metal pieces and little crystals? And wow, that's details, huh? That's what we want to see from Chanel. Oh, guys, look at that one. I think we should try that one on, even though it's silver hardware. I really like that. Okay, guys, so he's just bringing the Chanel 19 back. What do we think? This is from Cruz. Okay, luckily they have many boutiques in Harrods, so we're just gonna try it somewhere else. Um, the Chanel 19 in the rain with the rainbow effect is actually pretty beautiful so I'm really sorry that I couldn't show you more of it. Oh my god, look at this. What do we think about that? Huh, it's a fairy little friend. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look here. Um, but I think we already got awesome um, footage, so that's amazing. Um, I might actually still walk up Bond Street to show you what they have as well. Oh guys, I love the little reissues. Oops, sorry, um, with a velvet, like all velvet reissues. I don't know why I feel so drawn towards them. Um, oh, so, so sad. They were already like, nope, no picture, no video and nothing. Usually they at least let you take pictures of the bags. That's stunning. Um, but yeah, that's fine. We just try our luck somewhere else. Okay, guys, so what do we think about this? Do we spot anything that looks good? A little bit more Chanel. This is a little cropped, crop top, crop shirt. Um, pretty belt. And a sequence bag. Sequence bags are everywhere. Pretty dress. And this is, is this the reissue camera bag that Jacob actually has? Or is this a smaller size? I have a feeling like his one, his is a little bit bigger. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, okay. And a little bit of Louis Vuitton. Again, I feel like, you know, I haven't been filming for a while now and they don't really change their displays and there are not so many new models out there, unfortunately. Guys, look at that one. That's the East West Lady Dior. What do we think about them? Hi, this is the new East West? Yes. Okay, does it come in more of a classic version as well? Look at this, this is the teen chain pouch and the teen pouch. So it's in between the small one and the regular one. It's quite a nice color, right? And it's the same size chain basically and the back is just a little bit smaller. What do we think about these ones? Okay guys, so there's Chanel. Let's have a look at least what's in the window display. There's actually an animal rights protest going on down there and like a security guard in front of a shop was just like warning me to not go down there with my coat. I mean, my coat is fake fur, it's fake. But I don't know if they think it's real and like throw paint at me or something like that, like in Sex and City. So I didn't want to like risk it and took like another little side street. But yeah, okay, now we're here. Let's look at what's new in the window display um, unfortunately we didn't get a lot to see but um, there will be other opportunities of course in the future um, i would say there's louis vuitton by the way they don't have a lot in the window display okay this is definitely a new setup um interesting we're not gonna go in anymore i think they're closing down now um, but at least I wanted to give you a little bit more. I can use a nice necklace up there. That's very vintage inspired. And yeah, interesting, 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 right? Um, let me know if anything caught your eye. Oh, this is one of the bags with the email, with the enamel, um, enamel in it. 
What do we think about it? So that's it for today. Um, there will be many more opportunities uh, very, very soon to see a lot of the new 22P collection. To be honest, I'm not so excited about 22P. I'm looking forward to 22S, to be honest. I think they're gonna have, they're gonna come out with some amazing bags, which I'm, which I really want to see <laughs> as soon as they come into the boutiques. I think is it mid February? I believe so. So um, yeah, we didn't see a lot today in terms of Chanel, but I think we got a lot of eye candy at Bagista. And uh, yeah, to be honest, it's just the game, right? That is the game. Sometimes you go and they stop you before you even start filming. <laughs> and sometimes they get a lot of footage, um, but that's to expect. And I mean, I always say it like they're only doing their job and I do my job. Um, so yeah, nonetheless, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here. Because we all have the same luxury disease, yes. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.